What's up guys? So today is a Thursday. I went to three estate sales. Had a whole lot of music playing so we couldn't film there. But this is what we got. Not a whole lot today, but we're gonna go yard selling tomorrow. There's like two big neighborhoods uh, in a town close to us that have neighborhood yard sales. So we're gonna go to those. So I'll show you guys what I got today. So this whole box and this stuff right here, the hats, was $40. So in that box we have this is a little brat stalls motorcycle. I just got a whole bunch of brat stalls. So I was thinking maybe I could throw that with it. This something just fell off of that. Neat. This is an Ertl Harley Davidson little um, die cast model. Would obviously be worth more if I had the box and it's very dusty. I don't really see anything as far as comps on that, but I went and grabbed it. Got two of these, kind of dirty and dusty, but I've had actually surprisingly good luck selling these little post-it note dispensers for really good money. I couldn't look up the barcode on these because they are not for resale for whatever reason. There is a barcode underneath that, so I'll, I'll look that up and maybe scan them on um, Amazon. See if we can do FBA on those. <laughs> Got some Kiss condoms. <laughs> Tongue lubricated. <laughs> good case. <laughs> uh, that was pretty funny. These are um, obviously not good for use. They're still sealed. Um, but this exact box was doing like $25 to $30 on eBay consistently. So I thought that was kind of funny. I threw that in there. Uh, didn't look this up, I just grabbed it on the way out. This is a sealed horror movie DVD. It looks foreign to me, maybe. Who knows? If anything, we'll just throw it in a lot. This is a garage door keypad. This is a Sears brand. I've sold these for like $40, $45 before, so that should do the same. This is a sealed CD. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It has been punched, unfortunately, but it's Breaking Benjamin. And it's the uh, special edition CD, and uh, these were doing like 25 or so, still sealed. So we'll see if that whole punch affects it. Got a Batman. This one had a date on it of 91. This is a big figure too. It's like an 8, 9, 10 inch figure. So I threw that in the box. These two action figures. I don't know anything about action figures, guys. There's 1994, and this one's 1995. I don't know who these are. Google Lens, that will help me. If you don't know about something, Take a picture of it with Google Lens. That's how I learned a lot. This cool R, yeah, Royal Crown RC Cola bottle. It's got a copyright 1936 on there, but I don't know if that's the age of the bottle. I just thought it was really cool because it's actually got like screen printed graphics on it. This I couldn't pass up just because it is, it is so, so beat up. This is a nylon truck, so comp comparable to Tonka. But my goodness, this thing has like been buried in the dirt. But I guarantee this will sell on eBay guarantee it. Got this cool little oven. Obviously it's missing its nameplate right there, but again, I'm gonna use Google Lens, to try to hone in on who made this. It's kind of just a basic little, maybe a dollhouse furniture or something like that. But uh, for, you know, a couple bucks that I spent on all this, I'll give it a shot on eBay. And I got this carved wood statue. It's like a real soft wood. I don't know what kind of wood that is. Obviously it's very dirty and kind of moldy, but it'll clean up well. I just thought it was cool that it was hand carved to people making out. That's always cool. <laughs> got sealed Mr. Rogers VHS with the trolley up there. That was kind of neat. Sealed VHS of all genres is doing pretty well right now. I got three of these hats. I just looked these up. One of them sold for 15 used and these are obviously new. So got the little uh, cardboard insert in there and then there are one two three four five six seven eight of these audi sport hats so these are really nice hats uh, i think one of these just sold it had something different it said something different on there but one of them sold for 30 bucks so 240 dollars potentially um so the last thing i got was this uh set of tecton tin snips one of them sold there was a pair of them it sold for like 40 bucks so one of them 20 25 um, there's none listed right now. So again, all that stuff was 40 bucks. Second to last sale I got. This is a DeWalt angle grinder. Brand new, still in the packaging. Dated 2020, so it's a new one. I paid 95 for that. There are none listed right now on Amazon FBA. And even on eBay, I think they're doing like 130, 140. So obviously that wouldn't be the greatest flip for eBay. But I have a feeling I could ask, you know, 170, 180 for Amazon FBA. Yeah. I got this. I thought it was pretty cool. So it was 50 for this whole set. And there's some other like inserts that went in there that had a bunch of film. There's another one in there. I don't know if this is new film or not, but regardless, the main value here is this camera. So this is a Yashica Lynx 14E. 
So this is a 35 millimeter film camera. Uh, I took it out of the case. It looks really, really nice. I looked these up and just this camera with this case was doing like 150. This is probably a flash with this nice leather case here. And I think it's got the manuals and everything. Uh, maybe I can go a little bit more than that. I'm thinking maybe 180 or so. So for 50 bucks, that's a pretty good flip. Uh, another license plate frame. I always get these. This is $2. That'll do at least 20 on eBay. A really nice timing light. So this is a an actual metal one. Later on, like the early 2000s, they went to plastic ones. But this is an actual metal. So this would have been 70s, 80s, maybe even 90s. This was 10. And then the rest of the here, this was 25. So I got a drill a charger, another drill with the battery, this charger, and this double charger, all for 25 bucks. And then this was starting with it too. That's not a DeWalt. This will go probably by itself, probably 20 bucks or so. But yeah, I mean, these these battery chargers sell for really good money on eBay and Amazon. So if there's a listing for eBay with this drill and case and everything, I'll, I'll list that. But I'm thinking probably $70, $75 for a set, you know, with the case. We got Crash Team Racing, and it's pretty scratched up. I do have a resurfacer, so I'll see if I can get that looking a little bit better. This is like a $20 game on eBay. I didn't look it up on Amazon. This will go to Amazon. I always grab these, these little graphing calculators. Oh, that's not a graphing calculator. Anyway, these calculators go well on eBay. Uh, let's see. So for 20, I got this. So this is a video eight, high eight video eight formats usually do really well on eBay. So this one it was 20. I think it was doing, oh, it's all melty. Yuck. Uh, it was doing like 80 to 100, I believe. And then this one was the more expensive one. So I actually got this for 50, not 75. So this is complete. It's got a charger. It's got a couple batteries, got some tapes in here. But this is also a high eight digital eight, but it's smaller. So it's going to be a newer one than this. This was 50 and it was doing like 130, I believe on eBay. That is all guys. Like I said, we're going to go to more sales tomorrow and we will see you there. All right guys. So we had another day of yard selling. Today's Friday. We went out for a couple of neighborhood yard sales. Didn't do any filming, but we did get a lot of cool stuff. So I got this for 10 bucks. It's new, open box. It's got an Amazon return label on it, but it is complete in there. These things go for about $40 on eBay. I didn't check them on, um, on Amazon. But if they go on there, I'll, I'll do that route. A couple of old climber manuals, Haynes manuals, Chilton's manuals do really well, actually, on both venues. Uh, these are some old ones, kind of rough. But they were a dollar each. And these are popular cars. So if they're that cheap, even though they're this rough, I usually pick them up. This was 15. So these are actually all Lionel. I can see it there at the bottom. I don't know much about trains, but I do know Lionel is a better maker. And these are actually metal trains. I don't think the cars are, but these, so <laughs> they're metal. And I don't know what I'm saying. Great job. <laughs> 10 likes. I know. <laughs> I know that the older Lionels do pretty well. So for $15 for the whole thing, I thought that was a pretty good deal. All right, so Heath kit. Um, anything Heath kit is usually worth some pretty good money. I think these were like do-it-yourself type uh, electrical pieces. So that's a tuner, so it's FM stereo tuner. Usually these would have a wood cabinet. This is just the chassis, but it does have all of the kit information, all the different components. This was three bucks. It looked complete to me, so we went ahead and picked it up. I didn't even look it up, but I know it's gonna be worth something. Uh, next up, we've got this whole box of random stuff. I'm not an action figure guy, but these all have dates from the late 80s, early 90s on them. A lot of it's G.I. Joe stuff, I can tell because it says it on there. <laughs> That's the only reason. Nothing's probably complete, but $5 for the whole box. Couldn't really pass that up. So from that same yard sale, this whole bag was $5. I do know that this is He-Man. Yeah. He That's the little head cap there. So we got Two of these Zoids, I've sold these before. The ones I have were new and they went for really good money. These have actually all been completed. There's just a full model in there. You know, less than a dollar for those. We've got this cool Beetlejuice thing. Oh, I didn't even know the figures were in there. Cool. So this is dated 89 by Kenner. So I went and got that. And then I've sold a bunch of these. So this is Imperial. They make these like rubber, pretty realistic animals. This is dated 84. So I went ahead and picked that up. These usually do pretty well. And these, this is a bigger one too. So I usually always look out for the dinosaurs. 
jungle animals and stuff made by Imperial. They did pretty well. Same sale, we got all these. So this was $2 for everything here. We got these two Bose remotes, which something's loose inside of that. And you can't really test these the normal way that you test a remote that has the, uh, the signal opening right there. Usually you can use your cell phone camera and make sure that these actually light up on your camera, but you cannot do that with these. So I might just have to sell those as for parts or untested. We got some original Ninja Turtle stuff in here. So that's 1990. These guys are not complete. This one might be probably a dollar for this whole box. I don't know if this is a vintage shoe box too. I don't know. This one is $5 at a yard sale. This is a probably one of the newer BCRs. I've got a ton of remotes to go with these. This is just a Sylvania. Very small, very easy to ship. If there is a listing for this on Amazon, it will go there. If not, this is probably $40, $45 on eBay with remote. Got this. Guy said that it, it's complete. It is kind of rough, but it's got the original box. He said that the, the remote had some corrosion in it and he didn't have a nine volt battery to test it with. So um, usually I can get those cleaned up pretty well. Hopefully this works. Even if it doesn't in the original box, I'm gonna pay $5 for this, probably 40, 50 bucks. Because the remotes on these are easy to replace. Same place we got this for $250. So this is a Roseville base. It does have this small chip here. I know Roseville is a good brand, I guess, to look out for for pottery. They had it marked 22 bucks in their antique store, but we got it for $250. So we also got this for $250. Um, I'm gonna need the power cord. I might have one of those. This is a cool mid-century percolator made by Manning and Manning Bowman. So not the typical Sears one that you'd find. It's got this cool wood handle. It's good you know, mid-century look to it. It's not all dinged up. That should do pretty well. There were similar sold comps for like 40 bucks. This was 20. I did check this. This is like a learn to paint type kit. It's got all 20 DVDs in there and there's two CDs in the back with the workbook. Um, this was selling used for like 60, $70 on eBay. This is 20. Um, being that it does have a barcode, I'm sure I could sell this on Amazon FBA. This is kind of a shot in the dark. We're trying to start looking at artwork a little bit better a little bit more um, thoroughly. So I looked this up and this guy has a lot of similar paintings of just these figures that have gone to auction for, you know, three, four or $500. I don't know if this is something like that or not, but it's cool looking, looks original. Hmm. Got a Wii for $10. It's got one nunchuck there, but I don't see any, so no controller. It's got Wii Play, it's got an instruction manual for Wii Sports, but no game. It's probably in the machine if I had to guess. I've got plenty of stuff to make this complete set. So for $10, I absolutely could not pass that up. Got these uh, little toy guns. Uh, this one says Rambo. I'm a little hesitant to put these on eBay because I've tried before. Something to watch out for in this. I don't know if this is still current or not, but it used to be where you could not list even a toy gun unless it had the orange tip on it. These do not have orange tips. I think that was like a federally mandated type thing after a certain year. And even to resell them, you couldn't do that on eBay. So, but these were only a dollar a piece. I went in and just took a chance. Didn't look them up because we were in the basement and I couldn't get any reception anyway. But if I am able to sell these, should be fairly quick flips. Got a bunch of these cars. So these are actually made by high speed. Nothing special about these, but these were cheap and there's a lot of them. So I'm gonna sell these all as a lot. They actually do pretty well. That whole lot will probably do 30, $35 if I were to guess. $12, we got all of these original Lego builder's manuals. So these are all vintage. You can tell just by the way the graphics are on them. So this one's dated 87. So for $12, I can just piece these out and anybody who wants to build these kits and has all the blocks, they're gonna need these, so. All right, last couple pieces. I thought this thing was really, really cool. So this was only $20. I did find a similar comp for this one. It was a different color. Um, the last guy, the last name is Anthony. I can't remember what his first name was, but this is big. This is probably like 12 inches tall. So we'll put that on eBay, see what it does. I have no idea what the comps would be on that. You know, it's cheap, it's unique. So we usually buy stuff like that. All right guys, so that was another weekend of yard sales and estate sales. Um, today we spent like 150 bucks and I think we can easily double probably even triple that amount. Um, as you guys can see, we didn't really get anything spectacular, but you gotta kinda just grind through it some weeks. You know, not every week's gonna be an amazing, amazing find, so. 
for the whole weekend we spent right at $450 after all the eBay fees, FBA fees and stuff like that, we're looking at profiting $802. So for our original investment, it's not quite doubling our money, but it's really close. And of course we're gonna get that $450 back. Just wanted to make sure that that was clear. $800 is after everything. That is pure profit. That is after our cost of goods sold. So not too bad for a whole weekend of sales. Thank you guys very much for watching. We really do appreciate the support. Please consider liking the videos and subscribing. It really does help us out and we will see you again next time. See you guys.